Today I'm going to explain the concept of limit. So let fx is equal to x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. Now suppose if we want to find the value of fx when x is equal to 2, then f2 is equal to 2 square minus 4 upon 2 minus 2, which is equal to 4 minus 4 upon 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 upon 0, which is meaningless. In mathematics, 0 upon 0 is considered to be meaningless. It has no meaning. So, now we are taking x is equal to 1.9. That means we are not taking x is equal to 2 exactly, but a value which is close to 2. So, what happens? fx is equal to, that is f 1.9, is equal to 1.9. 9 square minus 4 upon 1.9 minus 2. So, simplifying we get in the numerator minus 0 0.39 in denominator minus 0 0.1. So, we get 3.9. So, if x is equal to 1.9, then fx is equal to 3.9. Now, let us take another value which is closer to 2, we move closer to 2. We are getting 1.99 this time. So, fx is equal to 1.99 whole square minus 4 upon 1.99 minus 2, which is equal to minus 0 0.0399 upon minus 0 0.01, which is equal to 3.99. Now, we take x is equal to 1.999. So, fx is equal to 1.999 square minus 4 upon 1.999 minus 2, which is equal to minus 0 0.003 triple 9 upon minus 0 0.001. So, we get 3.999. So, we see if we go closer to 2 from left hand side on the number line. If we move from uh, 1.9, we go, go uh, closer to 2, closer and closer and closer. The, F, the value of fx goes closer to 4. 3.9, 3.99, 3.99. Closer and closer and closer to 4. So, if the value of x tends to 2, the, the value of function tends to 4. Now, we take a value closer to 2 but greater than 2. That is, x is equal to 2.1. So, we get fx is equal to 2.1 square minus 4 upon 2.1 minus 2, which is equal to 0 0.41 upon 0 0.1. Ultimately, we get 4.1. If we take more closer value, that is x is equal to 2.01. So, fx is equal to 2.01 whole square minus 4 upon 2.01 minus 2 is equal to 0 0.0401 upon 0 0.01. So, the function's value is equal to 4.01. Now we take x is equal to 2.001. So we get fx is equal to 2.001 square minus 4 upon 2.001 minus 2 that is equal to 0.004001 upon 0.001. Ultimately we get fx is equal to 4.001. So we see that if we uh, take uh, the value of x from right hand side on the number line closer to 2, then the value of fx go, goes closer and closer and closer to 4. So, we can say that um, if the value of 2 approaches to 2 from right hand side on the number line, the value of fx approaches to 4 on the number line. So, for the summary, we have drawn these two diagrams. This number line representation is for fx 
and this is for x. So from the left hand side if we go closer to 2, 1.9, 1.99, 1.99, 1 the value of function tends to 4, 3.9, 3.99, 3.99, is it goes closer and closer and closer to 4. From the right hand side if we go closer to 2, we take the value of x and go closer to 2, 2.1, 2.01, 2.001, then we observe the value of fx approaches to 4 again, that is 4.1, then on uh, 2.01 it, it is 4.01, on 2.001 it is 4.001. So, though at x is equal to 2, function's value is meaningless, but if x tends to 2 from the left hand side, and the right hand side, the function's value tends to 4 from left hand side and as well as from right hand side. This fact, this fact is written as, if So, the fact that from the left hand side, if x approaches to 2, function's value approaches to 4, we write left hand limit of fx when x tends to 2 minus is equal to 4 and the fact that if x approaches to 2 from right hand side on the number line the function's value approaches to 4 we write right hand limit right hand limit of fx when x tends to 2 positive is equal to 4. And if these two limits are exactly equal, so we say that limit x tends to 2 fx is equal to 4. So this is the concept of limit